Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the podcast. I'm Tanner. I'm Nick. And uh, welcome back. Uh, today we're tackling the topic of who is better, Marvel versus DC. Uh, we we both grew up reading comic books. <clears throat> we read some DC and some Marvel. Oh yeah. But we have our particular favorites in in both fields. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, this is going to be a little bit longer video today than uh, probably last week. I think last week was around the ten. 15 minute About mark. 15 minutes. This yeah. can get a very heated debate. We could go on for hours between uh, DC and Marvel, but we're going to try to keep it short and condensed for y'all today. But uh, thanks for coming along. Renderforce.com. We're back. Um, so, we're tackling DC versus Marvel, or Marvel versus DC. Um, I want to go ahead and jump in here right at the beginning, right mm -hmm. off the bat, and say I'm a Marvel fan. Me, personally, I'm a Marvel fan. I, I feel like Marvel is yes. better than DC, just I'm into Absolutely. the characters more. But I will say, DC has stronger characters. Mm. Mm. Okay. DC has stronger characters, and you can take Superman the example. Take Wonder Woman. Uh, take the Justice League. Uh, okay, here a uh, super nerd for a second. Take the Justice League. Yeah, Boom, right. there okay. they are. Take the Avengers. Okay. Who do you think is gonna win? Deadpool. <laughs> the classic <laughs> Marvel cinematic. Okay. When, when no, I, say, I, I see what you're saying. I, I say Avengers, saying. but I mean, there's there's so many Avengers. Right. Yeah. New there's Avengers. a lot more than just what they yeah, put in the I movies. Yeah. I mean, so. yeah. If you actually kept it the comics, there have been God, so many. But yeah. anyways, I'm talking about the Marvel Cinematic Universe for a second. Take the Avengers, just the very right. first for, very first Avengers. You can put a little poster for it if you want to in here, whatever. Very first Avengers. Put that against the Justice League. Right. Hands down, without a doubt, the Justice League is going to kill every single person on there. Okay. I can even match them up. You've got the Hulk, right? Mm -hmm. Incredible Hulk. Boom. If I, Okay, if I was on DC side, and I was like, who am I going to, like, if it's one-on-one, -on -one, who am I going to put against who? Boom. Hulk, Superman. Hulk gone. Hulk gone. I think Batman would even be able to top Iron Man, if given enough time preparation. Yeah, see, that's another thing. See, I, I that's, would have... That's another thing. It's I would have put time. Batman up against, like, Captain America. Really? No, I wouldn't have done that. I put that's, Wonder Woman against Captain America. That's what I would have done. I put Wonder Woman... No, I put Wonder Woman against Thor. Think about that for a second. That'd be a fight. You know, Thor's now a Disney princess. Because in the new Marvel comic line, Thor is now... Milanor went to a girl, so Thor is now a girl. You mean Mjolnir? Milner, yeah. Milner bought or was, can you and say, then can you say no, I can't. I can't. Can and you then, say so then Disney bought out Marvel. Oh. So if Thor is now a girl and owned by Disney, Thor is a princess. It's a Disney princess. To Disney. Wow. Isn't that crazy? Oh, anyways, anyways, anyways. No, anyways. that's no, that's true, man. Yeah. That's true. But I was gonna talk about the whole Disney buying yeah monopoly thing yeah. later. But anyways, but yeah. So anyways. Oh God, we're gonna run through time. So, oh, so you're, you're so right. fast, <laughs> so yeah. fast. Yeah. Anyways, I personally feel that I like the Marvel characters a lot more than the DC characters, but I believe that the DC universe, if the two universes collided, mm -hmm. I do feel because a lot of the characters are very similar. Oh yeah, they're very similar. But I do feel that DC would probably prevail over Marvel, see, with I, the exception of a few people like Deadpool, for example. See, well, I he's the anomaly. Though. I I disagree with that. And there, there's a, a few reasons. Well, I've never been a fan of Superman, for one. He's an alien that come to Earth, and he's got all these powers and Too stuff, and powerful. it's amazing. And you throw a little green rock at him, and he goes, no. <laughs> and he, he's all weak. Or you take him away from the sun, and he's all weak. Unless there's a different sun. No, no, no. Then like, if you like were to t take him underground... Oh, and keep true. him away from the sun that's for a true. long amount of time, he would lose his power. He's like a plant. Yeah, exactly, yeah. The sun so, like, he's... I've never been a fan of... Like, I have my favorites in DC and in Marvel, and I think that we should say who our favorites are. Oh, yeah, we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, but, yeah. but, but I was I, just saying, if you say DC or Marvel, I prefer Marvel, but I feel like DC... See, I don't... I, don't, I think that Marvel would win. And that's not going off of like the the cinematic. I'm going from comics. Just I think that 
the diversity that, that's in Marvel, because I wouldn't put Superman up against the Hulk. I would put Superman up against Captain Marvel. Because Captain Marvel well, is a, I said the Avengers from the original movie. Right. You're, is, see, you're talking about the cinematic which universe, is, which now, is the I, movies the that reason, they've come the out with. The reason why I said that, I am familiar. Don't the next one has Captain Marvel in it. I'm, let's chill for a second. <laughs> <laughs> let's chill for a second. Spoiler everybody alert. Calm, everybody calm down <laughs> for a minute. What I was going to say, though, is because the Justice League also grows. Right. There's oh, been yeah, other massive. people in the Justice League. Right. Other than the, the, you know, the people, I ain't got time, I had a certain name, I could name oh, them, yeah, but no, I ain't we got time. Have. But anyways, what I, what I was getting at then, if you took the original from the movies, because if you want to go into the comic books, you say, well, in this one, they did this one. Right. In this one, they technically, it was this guy, he technically founded it. No, what I'm getting at is, right. if you took the movies, movie the Justice League, and the movie the Avengers, first and first, right. Justice League would win. Just because, because two of their people are so OP. Mainly being Superman is almost unbeatable. Is insane, just absolutely ridiculous how powerful he right. is. He could just probably about beat the Avengers by himself, which is just it's stupid. Right. Stuff. Yeah. See, that's one of the things I don't really like because I watch it. I watch a DC movie and I'm like, they could just call Superman. <laughs> you know, okay. The Joker's got a pop. You can just call Superman. Okay, so let him fly up to the sun for about an hour. You know, he gets that supercharge, yeah. and he would just run like go, th- like apparently go through the atoms of everything. Only grab that one person's heart, pull it out, and go. Hey, yeah, done. Hey, and at least with Marvel, it's tempting because some of the villains in Marvel are actually more powerful than oh, the heroes, yes. and the heroes I'll, actually have to focus to overcome. I was going to say that. The Marvel, their villains are so much better yes. than DC's villains. DC's villains are horrible. They're horrible. Doomsday is like the big bad. I was actually... Dang, I wish you wouldn't went there because I was actually going to say <laughs> that DC had better villains. They don't. They... The, okay, this is what I was getting at. The Slade, villains... Slade is the only... Awesome bad one. I'm sorry, the Joker. I'll say the Joker. The Joker is the most iconic villain ever. I He's, will give him that. Uh, okay, we want to talk about our favorites too. This is going to be all over the place. We're oh, going to yes. Okay, well, let's, let's jump into that. Okay. Who's your favorite? Okay, my favorite when it comes to DC. Or do you want to go Marvel? First? Okay, so let's, let's go DC. DC. Let's go heroes and then villains and then Marvel hero and villain. My favorite, ooh, my favorite hero in the DC world. It's so hard. <laughs> no, I know who he is. It's Beast Boy. Beast Boy, really? And nobody, nobody, uh, everybody's like, what, Beast Boy? Who's that? Like, no, Beast Boy's a know. badass. He, yeah, he was. I mean, think about it for a second. I hate the think new animated. I don't, no, it's you know, so that, bad. Not getting into that. The original one was good. The one we grew up with. I haven't yeah, seen this new one. I've heard that it's terrible. The new one's so bad. But the one we grew up with was really good. It made me a Beast Boy fan. I started looking into it. And you could be like, well, he knew how he never fully gets Superman. Well, the whole point I'm going to make with that is um, there was that funny video that went around after the um, Avengers movie. Mm. When they were fighting Thanos, big. We need to put a thing in here about spoiler alerts because we're gonna ruin everything. If you've never seen a movie or done anything, we're about to ruin the whole thing for you. If it was, they haven't it was seen like, it by now, it was like it. it was like Ant Man could just fly inside Thanos' yeah, head yeah. and turn big, and it would have killed him. It's so brilliant, and I'm like, really? Because that's the argument I've been making for Beast Boy for years, <laughs> for years. He yeah. can turn into any animal. He can. He can turn into anything. Anything. Yeah. Which means he can go microscopic if he wanted to. Yeah. Work his way. Take six days. Yeah. Crawl into your ear. You're asleep at night. It's a Turn form into an of elephant. blue whale. Yeah. <laughs> just yeah. your head just yeah. explode. Yeah. You know, what's a blue whale? 80 thousand. Huge. Tons yeah. laying on top of you. Are you kidding me? How do you fight that? And it's also shown he can go to prehistoric animals. Yeah. You thought Jurassic Park was fucking scary? <laughs> okay. Try yeah. fighting a guy that turned into a velociraptor and then you're <laughs> yeah. like, oh, I got the upper hand on you, then to yeah. a T Rex. Yeah. Think about that. And then you really got him cornered? An ant. At F an ant. <laughs> Gone. <laughs> Will fly away and yeah. he's go smaller than he can. No, I mean, so my favorite hero, without a doubt, is Beast Boy. He's he's funny. Right. He's got his own charisma about him. Beast Boy is my favorite hero. Villain. Villain. Deathstroke. Absolutely. Deathstroke is it's oh my badass. god. Which is which is a lot of people are gonna be like he's just the Titan fanboy because. You know, Deathstroke actually came to the comic books as a villain right. of the Titans. The Titans, yeah. Beginning with, then yeah. he later went to Batman and yeah. the whole thing. So what's yours from DC? Okay, so I was gonna say Deathstroke, but I I don't want to like 
I don't want to just cop out. Then and get say the your same number. One. Okay, you can agree with me, but okay, so this so is my number my, two. My favorite. Because we probably is, have the same number two villain. <laughs> we probably do. <laughs> my favorite in uh, in the DC universe. Um, oh, man, this is this is hard. Isn't it? This though? is really hard. Isn't it? Um, would would more than likely be Raven. Raven. I love she's, Raven. Dude, she's strong. She is we a both badass. Picked, she's the daughter of a demon. She can summon stuff. Like she's amazing. She can turn into stuff. She's. she's it's awesome. interesting. We both picked Titans. Uh huh. Yeah. Out of the whole universe. Yeah. So now we both if Titans. <laughs> I want to say Deathstroke. I want it's to say a, it's okay to say so, you agree. You can say I agree with you. That's my number one, but this is my number two. Right. My my number two would would have to be like. God, it's hard. Like the, I put most of DCs on like the exact same level. They're all like I like you, but I like you all equally. I don't like like one more than the other one. Like on Marvel, I'm like you're here, 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 yeah, here, here. Yeah, here. I've got. I that love on all too. of all of them differently. I've got that on the, DC, too. I'm like I love all of you. Like I love Harley. I love the Joker. I love Bane, and he's like almost irrelevant. I will say this: Batman has the best villains. Yeah, absolutely. In Batman's world. I feel like the villains are better than the heroes. Joker is the most iconic villain ever. Ever. Which, which form of Joker do you prefer? Do you prefer like the anarchist? Do you prefer like the the calculated okay. criminal? What what the the funny Joker? I mean, you, you if you want to get, let's use the movies. That's what most I don't know. We can go comics, but most people. I'll be honest with you, dude. I believe our audience is going to be more for us. Most the of movies. them, yeah, most of them have seen the movies. If, if we get so, requests, we'll go comic book. But for now, let's just stick with movies. That's more, more known. Right. Um, but anyways, so what, like, which Joker do you prefer? Out of, out of all the movies. All the movies. I'm talking. Okay. Heath Ledger from um, The Dark Knight, and it was, was The Dark Knight Rises, wasn't was, it? Yeah, yeah. Or was it The Dark Knight? See, I, I like Marvel. I don't even like DC. <laughs> I'm getting these movies all whacked Okay, up. well, let, let's go in, though. Man, what, what are we doing? Let's go to Marvel. Okay, well, first, you didn't say... So, what is your favorite hero, and what is your favorite villain? Raven. Raven. And, and then villain would be hard. It would more than likely either be Slade, which is Deathstroke. My pick. Or the, or the Joker. Or the Joker. Or we're we're going to go with the Joker. There's no shame. We're going to go with the Joker. There's no shame with the Joker. Okay. All right, so now you want to go into... That I went hard. first with Marvel. DC. Go to Marvel. Oh! Marvel, there's so many good ones. You know, I was actually going to say from number two as my favorite in DC. Mm -hmm. um, do you know who Red Hood is? Yes. The new one. Yeah. Uh, Jason Todd, yeah. I believe, was the guy. He was murdered by the Joker. Comes back to life. Yeah. Two guns, blowing people. Yeah. Dude, that, Red Hood's a badass. That yeah. is... Dude, that, he's sick. Yeah. That's awesome. But anyways, we're off of... Conserve time. We're off of DC. Let's jump to Marvel. Yeah, we're it's real, We really should. We're at 14 this. minutes, and nah. we're yeah. Oh my gosh, we we're really, not even close. This is, yeah, it's gonna be a 30 minute video. Anyways, go ahead. Okay, so Marvel. Marvel. The Marvel. Yeah, the Marvel. Okay, I want to go ahead and elaborate. I'm not like jumping on a bandwagon. I've been a fanboy for a long time. Um, oh, I, I can I can second this. I know who you're about to say. And I can <laughs> I can mention. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just. No, I don't care if you don't believe us or not, but I swear to everything this is true. I did not know who this character was, and Tanner told me. Tanner's favorite superhero. I'd never heard of him. Tanner's like, I like this guy. He's cool. You need to check him out. I was like, okay, whatever. Two years after Tanner told me that, a video game released within a minute. So go ahead, Tanner. Um, but anyways, I'm just, I'm just taking Tanner's side here. I, that he swears to you. I swear to you, he liked him before he was I, popular. See, I, I have to say that because now that the movie is out... Everyone is a fanboy of him. But Deadpool. Deadpool is amazing. I grew up reading the comic books. I have the first issue and the second issue. And like I'm a huge fan of Deadpool. Um, following Deadpool, because I feel like that's kind of a cop-out because now everybody's going to be like, oh, of course you said Deadpool, which Deadpool is my favorite. Second in command is Gambit. Gambit? Gambit See, I was, is, I was going he's, to... He's got a soft spot in the heart. Love I Gambit. Feel you. I feel you. See, I was going to say X Men could be its own whole category. Oh, it can. It can. No, 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 no. Now, when I say Gambit, do not watch the Wolverine movie <laughs> and then think that that is Gambit. What is, you want to watch the Wolverine movie? That is movie not and say, Gambit. Look, Deadpool is in the Wolverine yeah, movie. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the Wolverine movie fucked up Deadpool. It fucked up Gambit. It messed up 
everything. But we got Hugh Jackman. Hugh before. Jackman, I love you. I that love was, Hugh Jackman. He, he, he did was, such a good job as Dude, Wolverine. I would give anything if he would come back for X-Force and be like, I'll do Wolverine just, I'm not doing a solo movie ever again, but just in this one X-Force movie, or maybe two or three, just I don't know how many there are, just, just in, in. Yes. yeah, just in Ryan Reynolds' X-Force movie where he's Deadpool, I will be Wolverine. Dude, I would probably cry. Yeah. I, I would weep. It, it would, would be weep. amazing. I would love for that to happen. Probably see it twice. I'd probably see the movie twice. Oh, yes. But it ended on Logan, though. Yeah, and that was, and that was the thing. Hugh Jackman said that he, the only way he would come back and do a Wolverine he laid, movie he like laid is, is if the if they killed him. So you know they're actually um, looking for a younger person to play. Yeah, Hugh, I've heard Hugh Jackman's actually helping them. He's yeah. going to be like he's going to help pick. Yeah, which is big. Don't get me wrong, but. But oh god! So, so dude, we're De- I, know, I, know, I know, I know. This was too but big of a subject. De- Deadpool. What have you done? And then Gambit. Gambit was one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse at it's one true. time. He, Gambit's amazing. It's true. Um, Unless villain. The, but the movie, the right. movie. He yeah. wasn't in the movie. Forget the movie. <laughs> um, villain. This one we're gonna be like, we're like, we're gonna talk about the movies, and we start talking about our characters, and just ignore the movie. <laughs> ignore it. Villains on. The Marvel side. Are we giving two this time? No, I'm just going to do no, one. No, we can give two. I can come, try. I can easily come up with two. Carnage is actually my absolute most favorite villain in the Marvel cinematic, in, or in the Marvel universe. The rapist serial killer. Ooh. He was a serial killer. Country na- redneck. Oh, he's a rapist too. His name was Cletus Cassidy. And when Eddie Brock broke out of prison, some of the, symbi- the little symbiotes broke off. It tore got off stuck. Of him, it got and stuck on went, the wall. And no, it went to the cell next to him. It got it, whenever he he busted out of. He like prison, busted out and like it like a crow like a rebar ripped it. It ripped it and was stuck on the wall and it climbed over and got on to Cletus Cassidy, who was Cletus in solitary Cassidy confinement was for killing his cellmate. The way I've heard, I haven't read the yeah. comments. The way I've heard, and it got on him and he was like covered in blood or something already. And that's where well, the red came from. The, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. Cletus a Cassidy bad guy. Was, was so crazy that when the symbiote got on him, it drove the symbiote insane. That's why his Damn. voice is all high pitched and everything, and he's all crazy because it drove the symbiote insane. You know, um, it's, I, I know, dude, we're going to run out. We just might we'll make this one a 45 minute video. We're going well, to have to part two it. Well, this I is, hate to do it. We're going to have to part two it, but I'm going to say real quick it's funny that those are your two favorite because your favorite hero and your favorite villain. Actually went against each other in a comic. Yeah, they did. Deadpool yeah. kills Carnage. Yeah, I, I, I yeah. don't think he. Well, um, he did. No, he didn't. He didn't kill Carnage. He, end, he ended close. up getting the sim. Deadpool got close. the symbiote on him. Yeah. Well, no, he got like four different symbiotes yeah. on him. Yeah. Uh, I've gotten like break. three phone calls during this. Yeah, I know. Um, what about you? Go ahead with the Marvel side. Okay, Marvel heroes. Marvel heroes. I've got so many that I like. Ah, oh, dude, I've got so many I like, I can't. It's so can't hard, especially words. whenever you start going, well, this is, well, no. Well, this is my I favorite. can name no. four of my top, I like, fa- I can actually name five. I know, yeah, easily. And in no particular order. I mean, I hate to do this. You're like, go, well, I'm just going to give it. Ten- go okay, Iron Man, um, Doctor Strange. Good one. Ant-Man, Captain America, and Punisher. Oh, love the Punisher. I mean, I'm like like people are like, well, does he really watch your stuff? No, those are seriously, and it's hard to pick between. It is like those. That's why every time there's like a Marvel game, like on the phone or something like that, they're like, well, you can play, put your favorite characters in. I'm like, right. I've got like seven. Yeah, yeah I got yeah. yet to play a game that gives me seven characters. Right. Let me know when they get one. They really just do that. But anyways, so yeah, I've got so many, and even with the the villains though. That is difficult. That yeah, that's that's almost harder than DC. To choose on the Marvel side. Mm. Villains. I know definitely one is going to be Venom. Love Venom. Venom is amazing. I'm so excited for the new movie. Yeah. I hope they do it I right. wish they would. I wish. I, it's stupid. I just feel. I wish they would have really. I know it was in the making before the deal went through. I wish they would just put it in this Marvel Cinematic Universe. So. I, so it. It's not a Marvel movie. It's in association with Marvel. And it pisses me off so bad. Because. Like. I. That's like. That's like somebody saying, "I'm gonna put twenty dollars in your bank account after I take out 10. Exactly. Yeah. Like. Or or I'm gonna charge you fifteen to put this twenty in your bank. Like, yeah. What? Really? Why? I'm getting a good movie, but really, I mean, why do you have to do that? It could have. It it's gonna be good, but it could have been great. Because with the new Spider-Man oh. and Peter Parker, imagine him trying to deal with Venom. Oh, yes. 
imagine him trying to do with Venom. Especially since, like, oh I, I have the first comic where, like, Spider-Man gets the symbiote and brings it to Earth. I have that comic. Have that comic. Yeah. And so, that was actually given to me. But Bro, any, anyways, so, like, Spider-Man got the symbiote <laughs> before Eddie Brock did. Mm-hmm. But in this movie... <laughs> Eddie Brock gets the symbiote. They love to change things. And the symbiote, it now is going to have, like, the Spider-Man powers, but has never been associated with Spider-Man. Then how did he get the Spider-Man powers if he's never on Spider-Man? He just, like, watched Spider-Man on the news, like, oh, that looks cool. I'll start doing that. I don't know how they're going to incorporate that. That's stupid. He got Spider-Man's power because the symbiote got on him. Right. Like, basically, it copied his DNA. There's probably somebody out there that was like, well, technically, he did do... He oh, no, there will be. DNA, there will be. And then, like, jumped off of him, and, like, it took his powers Yeah. And, so, um, I want to go ahead and say that um, this this uh, podcast is going to be um, edited down on YouTube. So, it's going to be a shorter video on YouTube. And if you want to see the entire episode, go check it out, out on our podcast, where the entire episode will be located. Yeah, Anchor app. Yes, on the Anchor app. Yeah, that's, that's going to be where you hear the whole thing. Because I hate to say it, dude, for the YouTube audience, we're going to have to we're going to have to cut it here yeah. and do a part two. So if you guys are enjoying this conversation, and we're so much we want to say, but we're hesitant. We're like, oh, we're trying to keep an eye on time. We're yeah. trying to keep an eye on time. So we've introduced a lot to you. We've talked about our favorite heroes, our favorite villains. We t- I, I discussed how I feel that DC would run over Marvel if the two worlds actually combined. We'll talk about that. So if you're interested in this, and this is something that you enjoy, and you're nerding out with this a little bit, in part two, me and Tanner will go in depth of why these are our favorite characters, how we feel about these characters, and if the two worlds really did fight, who would win? Thanks for coming along, guys. Think about uh, liking, commenting, and subscribing on YouTube. And uh, check out our podcast for the full episode. Um, it's posted every Monday at 8 a.m. Yep. Thanks for coming along.